Hi, good evening guys and welcome to what's on your uh, days and tips is guys today I'm going to make something uh, really new unique it's a mixture of um, uh, Turkish bulgur and um, red churi, uh, green churi, uh, green lens, um, tomato, uh, meat so before uh, I'm going, before I would uh, tell uh, what is that and how, so I'm going to make a coffee for myself, and it is like um, it's the coffee uh, mag that I bought it yesterday. Yeah. So let's uh, make something uh, yummy and delicious and um, the good thing with that uh, coffee machine is that it is making uh, or uh, mixing the coffee by itself you see guys how nice is it so this um, coffee uh, mixing um, cup uh, give a really nice and beautiful taste uh, to my coffee and uh, today I I really like to to drink uh, a cappuccino and uh, not uh, black coffee so I'm going to add uh, some water also in it and um, so while I'm making uh, the dinner or while I'm showing you guys uh, how to make dinner I will enjoy having uh, coffee also uh, those who live in Norway and especially in Stovner so you can find it you can buy it from here it's not um, it's not uh, that uh, expensive guys and uh, you can find you can buy it from flying tiger uh, it's a new staff of flying tiger so yes guys now my coffee is ready so let's uh, talk about what i'm going to um, make for dinner guys uh, so my ingredient is uh, now complete I have uh, here uh, half kg or we can say 500 gram uh, of uh, meat which I cut it in uh, so small uh, bits and here is a uh, green lens and here is a uh, green lens uh, you guys um, the reason that I took uh, a little bit or uh, in a very small amount and uh, that is why uh, that uh, we are just three person um, with my small niece four person at home and uh, that's the reason and the second reason is that I have tried it uh, of uh, my friend uh, she brought it in um, in the college so I just uh, tasted it was re it was really good and I think it is just mixture of uh, uh, Turkish and Afghani food and Pakistani so she makes it I don't know it it doesn't have an exact name so yes guys uh, we are taking this uh, green lens uh, green lens is uh, about um, maybe it's a hundred gram and uh, red churi uh, it is also 100 gram and a green churi also 100 gram and here is my bulgur mm, a really uh, popular dish of uh, Turkish uh, it's um, 500 gram and one um, pice and here is a tomato and um, what well, I took one um, onion and cut it in small uh, like uh, this small pieces and I have three garlic which is already cut it so what I'm going to do guys uh, that I'm going to uh, start cooking uh, first uh, the meat so until uh, the meat is cooking I'm going to soak them 
uh, in warm water then i will put them in microwave for about uh, 10 or 15 minutes uh, because I forgot or uh, we can say I was not uh, decided to make it today otherwise I could soak it at night so in the morning when you when you wake up so it's ready but um, in my case um, it is suddenly I decided what to make uh, which tastes different for my family and to bring something really different and tasty for you guys. So yes guys, uh, let's start uh, our cooking. Yes guys, uh, so we are starting our cooking. So I'm going to put a little bit oil in it because um, if it's too much oily, then it will not taste the same that I tasted at um, my friend uh, place. So yes, I'm uh, just and it's it's up to you guys how much um, oil you you like to use it or to put on it. But I did uh, put a little bit oil, and it's about your own choice how and um, like that. So uh, till my um oil is getting warm so i'm going to show you guys uh, the same um, ingredients or the same herbals that i am always using and it is uh, this uh, masala um it's up to your choice but i am using just um half tablespoon of it and um here is uh gurkmaya um one teaspoon of it and uh, then um, salt and um, then um, I'm going to use a little bit tandoori masala and uh, that's it yes guys as you see I mixed the red and uh, green chori um, and wash it with warm water and it's uh, warm water in it now I'm going to put it in microwave uh, for about uh, 10 minutes then after that I'm going to add my mm, green lens lenses uh, then again for uh, five minutes more then after that it's ready yes guys as you see um, oil is uh, ready so I'm going to put uh, the onion in it and then I'm going to wait until it takes uh, brown color then I'll put my mm, tomato paste in it or tomato then uh, cooking and the meat yes guys as you see um, the onion is ready so I'm going to put tomato in it mix it well then again we're going to wait so I'm going to put uh, masalas in it uh, that much tandoori masala Yes, guys so my uh, gravy is uh, ready so now what I'm going to do is that <clears throat> I'm going to add my meat here and just uh, mix it a little bit like that mixing it and uh, I'm going to put uh, garlic in it and again I'm going to mix it and I'm going to wait for some minutes until it's uh, ready then we are going to uh, mix our um, lens, uh, lenses and uh, churis 
and um, bulgur yes guys so, so I um, mixed it well and fried it well so what I'm going to do next is putting water in it and um, uh, waiting for dumping it for some um, minutes yes guys so uh, I'm going to put the cover on it and waiting just for some minutes until it's uh, not completely cooked but a little bit so then I will uh, put another uh, other ingredients in it yes guys uh, so the meat is uh, cooked but not that much it's like uh, half halfway so what I'm going to do is that <clears throat> if I'll cook the meat completely then when I'm putting uh, the, the green cherry uh, red cherry lenses so they are a little bit hard and the meat is cooked so it will be messed and so that's why I cooked it a little bit and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, mix them uh, together uh, I soaked its water guys and um, they are ready to use so <clears throat> what I'm going to do is that I am mixing them well like that mm -hmm. and then uh, again uh, covering it and putting it in a low uh, temperature because then if I will put it in a high temperature then uh, the water will be soaked too, too soon and then uh, the ingredients or uh, the things uh, will not be um, ready so that's why I put it in a very low temperature and we are going to wait for about maybe in 10 minutes maybe in 15 minutes but it's up to you guys it's up to your uh, ovens at um, how it is or maybe uh, if some people have a pressure cooker so you guys can um, cook it in a pressure cooker and uh, the good thing with pressure cooker is if you are in hurry and if you're very hungry and you liked my recipe and you wanna <clears throat> make it so the best way is uh, pressure cooker guys so you can uh, uh, you can uh, cook it in a pressure cooker yeah yes guys uh, as you see it took um, for me it took like 30 minutes uh, till it's cooked or it's ready you see guys it's uh, like uh, completely ready now so what I'm going to do is now um, I'm putting uh, this one in it with water of it because its water is really tasty and uh, <coughs> move it a little bit I hope <laughs> my family will like it but for me it was really tasty guys so now it's time to uh, put uh, bulgur yes guys and um, yeah like that so what I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm putting some water in it the water which is already um, cooked warm water 
like that so again I will uh, put uh, the cover on it then it's ready yes guys yes guys as you see um, the dish is uh, almost ready it is uh, cooked um, but as you see guys it has a little bit water so what we are going to do is that we are just uh, we, we will not put uh, it uh, down so what we are going to do is just mixing them mixing them and until it uh, its water is completely finished then it would be uh, ready guys so just uh, at the the end part is a little bit uh, harder because you have to move your hand uh, too fast um, otherwise um, it will be sticky so yeah guys uh, just uh, move it on like that guys as you see so the water is completely soaked and it looks uh, like that so now i'm going to show you guys how to how to design it like how you are going to eat it with what so first of all I'm going to put it in a um, plate yes guys like that so what next I'm going to do with it is <clears throat> that I'm going to put some yogurt on it uh, for its taste and it's um, it looks really nice and uh, like that <clears throat> and then I'm going to put some uh, a uh, green pepper on it like that I hope you guys like it and uh, try it once and one thing which is really important if you liked it and if you decided to make it so take your decision one day before not like me because it took uh, my lots of time like uh, two hours until it is uh, completely ready and um, uh, I'm using uh, uh, fried uh, onion and uh, you can uh, find it in market with a really good um, taste like for example in Norway it's uh, this one it's really tasty and um, really crispy so yes guys so it is ready i hope you guys like it and enjoy it and uh, have a nice time and take care bye bye